Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Glad you're here, glad you subscribed. I'm currently trying to uh, assemble a tent, my two-man tent. Still getting ready for the outdoor greatness that is New Zealand, and it's coming quick, y'all. So every day I'm trying to do something to prepare, physically, mentally, or just getting gear ready. I can't remember a time ever being so busy because we are right in the heart of bass fishing season, y'all. I'm still trying to get a turkey. I'm trying to plan for the biggest hunt, greatest outdoor adventure of my life so far. And we've got little Emmy running around. Uh, I wanna thank every one of you that has reached out so far through the emails on the editor position to help me out. Of course, it's gonna be a paid position. I think I got over 500 emails so far. So there's a lot of you that are eager and I'm trying to weed through everybody. Be patient with me because it's gonna take some time with everything else I got going on. Today is a crazy and fun vlog because my boy Outlaw is in town. He has been trying to get a turkey as well and he came to Texas and uh, he linked up with Mullet Man and I thought I'd go hang out with those guys and see what they're up to. So without further ado, let's get into some beautiful outdoor greatness. So sure I'm bringing the good luck right now. I feel like this could go viral. I feel like your your nutsack could be in jeopardy right now. These are the worst boots to wear. Why are you climbing over a high fence, bro? Hey, what is going on there? Now it's my turn. Don't fall for real. <laughs> it's slick up there. If I did, trying to be cocky. <laughs> you gotta get them long limbs up there. You just got a jack bean pole situation. You got them daddy long legs. <laughs> Look at that. See that? I shall leave right. The attack pant. These are my stretch pants. Breaking in for my. Oh shoot! <laughs> That's so. <laughs> that poked him back. Well, oh, bank, bank. Cactus proof. What is that? It's a uh, what kind thistle. Of, a thistle? You can eat it. A milk thistle? Careful, okay, man. You can eat it. Can you eat it? Yep. You like to eat good. Is that a eat good? It's alright. What are we gonna do here, boys? Go find a turkey. They ain't on. They ain't on the oil pipes. Turkey hole number one, unsuccessful. Huh? How many days have you turkey hunted this year? Four. How do you get a turkey excited? Is the thing. Oh gosh, there's a shotgun in my crotch. Good thing it ain't loaded. Ugh. Hey, hey now. 
You're a rock star. Get your game on. And rock, please, my friend. Oh man, I like where you went there. I like where you went there. Hope that copyright strike doesn't hit for yeah. whatever that band was back in the smash day. Smash mouth. Smashy mouth. I'm gonna smash your mouth. Right now, welcome to LFG channel. We're gonna go find some sheds, kill some pigs, and uh, get some girls. Oh, uh, wait. Nah. I'm just gonna set this down for a second. This little thing there, that little. I don't even know if you'd call this a lodge. Pretty, pretty amazing place. This is uh, this is originally where I met Bullet Man, where uh, we filmed a few videos. And uh, yeah. eat good. Eat good over there. Uh, thank you guys. You got them to. Uh, 50 something thousand subs now. Thank you, and, LFG. Yeah, thank you. We have uh, Mr. Dude, the one you gotta and You got to stop wearing boots around me. Make me look like a midget, man. Really? Oh, dang, dude. <laughs> dude, how tall are you in real life? You ever go to meetups? I swear I'm 5'10, dude. <laughs> everybody's like, I thought you were bigger. Yeah. Is that not the most Makes awkward thing? meeting thing ever. First of all, like I'll wear like extra tufts or something like this. It has no heel support. It just like you're flat on the ground. I'm just taking a picture with somebody. And they're just, like, they're just like this. And you're just like, what's up, man? <laughs> and the problem with me is I always lean into people like that. Yeah, like, hey, what's up, dude? Oh, and they're like, dude, yeah. you're a freaking midget. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> We've heard that so many times at meetups. We're, yes, we're not six foot nine in real life. Let me tell you about today. The beautiful day, spring days, turkey hunting days, still on the quest four times this year. Actually, this is my third time. We have gone through the streams. We have gone through the blue bonnet fields. We have gone to three different properties in search of the finagle the turkey. Finagle the turkey, I just made that, that word up, y'all. It has not worked out. I gotta tell you, this is my first day joining these two over here. Uh, they have been at it for four days uh, here in Texas and have not been able to get on one, unfortunately. So, so has some close calls, but hasn't happened yet. So we're gonna be doing some shed hunting. Y'all ever done that? Do you know what shed hunting is? Shed hunting is when you go out, you can do this while you're turkey hunting. Uh, you can do it while you're pond hopping out on, uh, you know, different, different places in the outdoors and you look for deer antlers. And there's certain places you go to look for them. And they're really fun to find. I mean, these are not whitetail antlers. You can go out and you can find these things. They're highly sought after in log cabin situations. We're gonna go see if we can wrangle up uh, some sheds. And while we're walking around, maybe even see a turkey and possibly some hogs. Hogs have been tearing up this place. They're not supposed to be here. That's why we got the, uh, the hog elimination system. Let's go have some fun. First rule of shed hunting, get yourself an ATV and get up on the high rack. You got a better visual that way. This I'm is just, called safari style This shed is hunting. safari style shed hunting. Cause, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, easy there. Easy there, outlaw. Oh, oh there you go. You know, I think it's so windy you today. They're turkey hunting. <laughs> I think it's so windy today <laughs> that their antlers are just gonna fall off. So this might actually be good. So that sounded good. What do you call that call? Oh, oh, dang, oh. Call. You dropped your box call. <laughs> I wish it would have destroyed it. works. I wish it destroyed it because that thing sounds like crap. Shut up. No, it don't. Well, there's some deer. There's some deer down there? Come here, deer. Oh, deer. Looking for the Get sheds. Any rattle snacks in there? Thank goodness, I didn't. I wasn't feeling this spot anyway. I think the key to shed hunting is really feel. You know, it's kind of like looking for airheads. You, you gotta, you Stay gotta feel the, the atmosphere. So you don't gotta get off. You're yeah. such a nerd. No. Yeah, you just sit right here on the ATV. It's like you play baseball in those wide oaks. Whatever outlaw calls them, shed spotters. How typical is this? A turkey was just spotted, middle of the day when we're shed hunting, after turkey hunting all morning. Figures. The sheds. What do you look for, y'all? You're looking for pathways. Um, you're looking for anywhere uh, a deer might jump. And uh, 
its antlers pop off during impact. Places where they could uh, rub them off, places anywhere the you know they frequent. A lot of you may not know this that aren't into hunting, but uh, a deer and many other ungulate species, uh, their antlers fall off and they regrow them every year. So right now they've fallen off and they're starting to grow them again. So when you see bucks right now, they're in what's called velvet and they're, they're growing those little antlers. You'll see like little fuzzy nubs and they'll start branching out. Um, they got blood vessels growing through them and all that stuff. And then eventually they will harden up in the fall. They use them for, for fighting. And then the whole process starts all over again. Oink, oink. Those tracks are everywhere too. That's a good rub. Did y'all walk through here? Yeah. Yeah. There's a good rub on a down tree over there too. Well, we're about to go to the Jeep. That is a big pig track right there. Wowie. Well, look at all these sheds. What? Hit the mother load. Look at, uh, I'm just kidding y'all, just kidding. These are sheds from the property. Our shed hunting adventure did not turn out the best. Actually, it didn't turn out at all. It just didn't even show up to the ballpark. We did see uh, a lot of signs of this on the property is hogs. Crawling through the ATV, uh, when the ATV, you're getting all up in the pits of the, where the hogs are wallowing. You know, they're, they've multiplied many times. Uh, since we're all out here, Mike has thermals. I've got my AR, it does not have a thermal on it yet. But we're gonna go try to at least get a hog down. This family loves to hunt and uh, they're out of control. I mean, you just can't control hogs. They, they are just nasty creatures and they multiply like rabbits. I like making bacon. So, let's go try to get a hog on the ground. the light, move your pack. Perfect eating size for home. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, over here I was looking at the light. Uh, mission accomplished. We, uh, well not really, we didn't get that many day. It is so bright, I was actually able to see through my optics and I was able to get a couple shots off. I know we wounded some. Uh, we only got one that's actually recovered. I smell bacon. Piggy down. Man, it was a bit, it's been a lot of hard work today, my old man. It has, man, it has. A lot of hard work, a lot of things happening. Feels good to get a nice little boar. He's got a little red, red in him. He's got kind of a red beard like me. We got that out here. You got the, the redness? When did the hogs get out here? You guys, you guys set them out in the pastures and then it got a little out of control or what? They've been here forever. When we bought the place, there was pigs everywhere. So far, you, you hadn't really been putting a good dent in them, Mike. I know. I mean, you hadn't been doing your due diligence on the, on the hog game, but it's hard, it's hard. You got bass fishing to do, you got eating good on other things to do. That's a eat good rule number 47. Yes, sir. Always wash your pig blood off your concrete. Number 48 is always wear a hearing protection because my right ear right <laughs> now, I can't hear. Mike got it the worst on that. Uh, Mike had a suppressor on his. I did not, and mine's a shorter barrel. Old outlaw, he did not as well. So the muzzle blast was really going towards yeah. Mike. Uh, I probably got it the best, like my hearing's fine, but they're both going like, what? What? What'd you say? You know what? I can't even say that word. I can't even say that word suppressor uh, on YouTube anymore. So we'll just call it a uh, a whisper, uh, a whisper, uh, a whisper biscuit. I've been waiting on mine to come in because it is so dang loud and it's so much nicer on your friends. It's a good friendly thing to do to have a, su have a suppressor. So anyways, if you're in a state and you can get one. Go, go ahead and do yourself a favor because it's so much more enjoyable to hunt with. Well, I'm just filming you on the phone with uh, your Dude, I'm staff, on the phone with my lovely the lady. The staffs. She's a lot better than your staff. <laughs> dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude, Steph, I swear. I, I am just kidding. You better cut that part out, dude. 
Because I swear. You know he's smitten when he's talking to his girl at hunting camp, y'all. The man, the myth, the mullet. That's right. Get your t-shirt at mulletman.net. Um, good, man. You were got, you got the plugs down. <laughs> that dot net. Dot net. Couldn't afford the dot com, man. So, uh, I could not. You're right. We got about a 60, 80 pounder. Yes, sir. Good eating pig. A little red beard. You know. Um, got a good boar out of there. Got, got, a, got a breeder boar out of there. That's good. Back straps. Now, in a, a, a pig back strap, otherwise known as, in layman terms, is no, otherwise known as what cut in the grocery store for 4,000 mullet man points? It's the loins. I don't know. I don't know. That's really a question well, for see, you Well, see, when I say a loin, I'm thinking tenderloin. There's pig backstraps in well, it. Tom Thumb, H-E-B, Kroger, Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly. Right now. And I want to know what they're do actually called. Do we need a lucky called. pigtail? Dude, where are you going to put that is my question. We're going to hang it. Where? Yeah, On your tailgate? Best. On your turkey vest. <laughs> Y'all need all the turkey luck you can get, so you go right ahead. What about you? You don't need turkey luck? Uh, yes, I also need turkey luck okay. because I have been trying to get a turkey since uh, the day I was born. Love you more. <laughs> more. I love her more than she loves me, okay? Now I'm going to have to call my Steph because he's already called his Steph and they talk. I'm going to be in trouble if I don't call my Steph now. So. Don't poison my food, Steph. I was yeah. just kidding. Justin told me to say it, I swear. Apologize. <laughs> Hang on a second. What is happening? For real, man. You said you had worms in that's your poop. Wrong with you. Dude, in my stool. It came out my stool, man. That's professional to say. Like, like the stool. So uh, for y'all that don't know, like most wild animals have ticks and fleas. Boy, look at me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that guy definitely does. They come off when an animal's dead because the blood is no longer flowing through its its veins. So, you're yeah, he's losing his life, his life blood. And uh, I just realized, I just rack focused from his rack area to, uh, to you there playing darts. A, that was a weird scene right there. I'm sorry, that was a weird scene. But I just wanted to give you the facts of life. The facts of wild life. There's a lot of bugs and a lot of wild things that you eat. And actually, Mullet Man says pretty much, if you, what did you say, you put Coke on? Why Coke? Yeah, you gotta Coke on the meat? I don't know. It's the acids, maybe? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Acids make the worms come out. So, there's a lot of worms in wild animals, too. Pretty much all wild things get worms and parasites and things like that. Even fish, you know. If you eat older fish, you'll see grubs and worms in them. But if you cook it, it's fine. Like, you don't even know how many worms you've eaten in your, in your life if you've eaten wildlife, y'all. It's just... It's I'm just going vegan. It. Leaves have bugs, too. You can't escape them, dude. Not when they're sprayed. That's not organic, and that ain't healthy. I don't care. No, so they, can we go kill some more pigs now? Blew out a rib with a hernia. Everybody wants to film. That is a, that's a rib right there. So we ended up getting one perfect size eating boar, and Bullet Man is gonna cook that sucker up. So if you wanna go check it out on his channel, uh, I'll leave him linked down below. Now my boy Outlaw, if you guys wanna follow his turkey jerky, turkey jerky, Tur turkey journey, I'll leave him down below. If this wind will ever die down below 25 miles an hour, I'm gonna get back on the water. And that's all I got for you guys today. I'm struggling to figure out this tent. I've been sitting here for 30 minutes. I'm gonna get on YouTube and try to figure it out. And if you want to subscribe right here to the channel, follow along with the adventures, y'all. Just start clicking things down there. Click the subscribe button. Click the like button. Just, just click things. I'm sure it helps. Thank you for tuning in right here. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one.